The Linux Kernel 6.1 released last week, and this is probably the most controversial kernel release that we have had in a while because it introduces support for the Rust programming language. Now, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I am not a programmer. Longtime subscribers know that the extent of my dev experience, you know, actually writing code, it's currently limited to creating scripts to automate various tasks and also guarantee that systems are being deployed securely since automation does things the same way every time you run it. And I was usually doing that with shell scripts or with Python. And my experience with systems languages like C and C++, it's limited to ricing suckless utilities like DWM and ST, since you do that by editing the C code and then recompiling it, and modding video games like GTA San Andreas. So kernel development is pretty much exclusively done in C with very strict parameters for ring zero, it's something that I'm not really that knowledgeable about, but I am fairly knowledgeable about system security, which is why I'm a fan of Rust. So in case you don't know, Rust is a fast, low level systems programming language like C, well really more like C++, but by default, compiled Rust code is guaranteed to have memory safety. That is the magic of Rust. And that's a really big deal because something like three fourths of all vulnerabilities that are found in software at all levels from BIOS exploits to web application vulnerabilities, they are the result of memory errors. Things like null pointer dereferences, use after free errors, buffer overflows, and so on. So with Rust, we have a programming language that is fast enough for developing things like drivers and OS utilities without having to worry about critical security vulnerabilities, at least not as much. It is possible to get vulnerabilities in Rust code, just not memory errors as long as you're not using unsafe. And that's something that you would think would be welcomed with open arms into something like the kernel. but not everyone agrees. So Drew DeVold's blog is one such example of what I would consider pretty good criticism of Rust being in the Linux kernel, and I guess just Rust in general, because he's not really a fan of it. I'll leave a link to his blog in the description because I'm not gonna read the whole thing here, but this guy is actually a kernel hacker and a very knowledgeable C programmer. And I guess the way that I would sum this post up is, there's nothing that Rust can do for the kernel that C isn't already doing. And of course, Rust stations, they're gonna say, oh, safety, safety, safety. But for one, there's places in kernel development where using unsafe code is actually necessary. This is even the case with Redox OS, the operating system that's written completely in Rust. But more importantly, it is absolutely possible to write safe code in C. In fact, the amount of eyes that are on the Linux kernel and the amount of review that code has to undergo before it gets merged into the kernel and the fact that the people that are writing and reviewing this code are often expert C programmers themselves, it's probably safe to say that Linux has some of the safest C code that is being written these days. And also Rust is a very complex language compared to C. Rust is really more like C++ because of all of the features that they both have. They're both object-oriented programming languages for one. Uh, they're both used in a wide range of applications. Like there's games that are written in Rust. There's web browsers, web servers, smart contracts, and all kinds of other big complex programs, just like what we commonly see with C++. But because of how simple C is, and the difficulty to do high level things with C, or at least my understanding is that doing high level things with C tends to require a lot more code compared to C++ and other object oriented languages. And more code means a harder to maintain code base, which is why you don't typically see a lot of software at levels beyond the kernel and core utilities actually being written in C these days. And also kernel development 
is a very specialized job. Lots of people can write hello world or they can make a web app or even fork a user space app and make some useful changes to it. But kernel development is sort of like underwater welding. It's a specialized skill that requires some more specialized tools than the guys that just do stick or TIG welding. Also, the syntax for Rust code is very different compared to C, which could make reviews a lot harder because again, a lot of these guys, especially the older guys, they've been writing code in C and might not be that familiar with Rust syntax. So I think I get why a lot of kernel devs don't really want Rust code in the kernel and they especially don't want existing code that is written correctly in C to be written in Rust just to say, hey, look guys, we ported yet another program to Rust. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And whatever you do, don't try to fix something that ain't broke with some fancy newfangled tool because that is probably the fastest way to really break something that wasn't broken before. But again, as someone with a background in cybersecurity, I can really appreciate where the Rust folks are coming from with wanting new software to be written in a language that's going to guarantee memory safety. And I think a healthy compromise is discussed in this LWN.net article titled, A Pair of Rust Kernel Modules. So same deal here, I'll give you guys a TLDR and link to this will be in the description. So this talks about some kernel modules that have already been written in Rust. First was an NVMe driver, which this guy, Hinborg, developed. Now, he pretty much just developed the driver to get some experience with Rust development. He doesn't really consider it a production-ready driver, and it wasn't any faster than the NVMe module written in C that already exists. So this was kind of reinventing the wheel, but you know, it's still good to get that experience with a new language that's gonna be standard in the kernel now. But the second half of this article, it talks about this guy, uh, Wensen Almeida Philho, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he developed a brand new network module that did not exist in the kernel. So he created a server module for the 9P protocol, which comes from the Plan 9 operating system. He implemented that module for the Linux kernel in Rust, which extends the kernel's capabilities because previously the kernel had a 9P client, but no 9P server. And I think Rust is the perfect tool for doing things like this because if you think about it, the network stack is one of those areas that outsiders are going to be interacting with. It's one of the areas that hackers are going to try to hit in order to gain unauthorized access to a system or to try and cause denial of service. So why not write that software in a language that's going to guarantee memory safety, preventing an entire array of memory exploits in that particular piece of software, which as we discussed already, those memory exploits make up more than 70% of all exploits in recent years. And what makes me the most excited about Rust being included in the kernel is the fact that Rust is the language that I've actually decided to start learning recently. Like I said, I've dabbled with shell scripting and Python scripting and even some PHP, but Rust is my first, I guess, big boy systems language. And its inclusion in the kernel confirms my suspicion that Rust is indeed a heckin' valid programming language. Now, before you start holding your breath for Rust programming content, please understand that I am a baby Rustation. I've literally only written Hello World RS and started learning the basics of Cargo. So it's gonna be a while before I can start making useful software with Rust. So give me some time to finish going through the official Rust book first. By the way, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description as well, since it's one of the best ways to get started with learning Rust. But the fact that I can use one language to maybe write kernel code, user space code, web apps, 
And speaking of web apps, you can actually use Rust in both the front end and the back end. So you could create a web server like Actix, which is written in Rust and very fast. And for the front end, you can actually do some things in Rust code and then compile it to WebAssembly so that you could have software stacks written in Rust all the way from the front end to the kernel. And you can also use Rust to write smart contracts on different blockchains or at least on Solana. And from the system security standpoint, doing all of this in one language will greatly reduce the amount of packages that you have to install. If you're writing everything in Rust and Rust comes with the kernel, then you don't have to worry about installing other languages like Go, PHP, JavaScript, etc. It's all going to be in Rust. It will all be safe and we will all be happy. Like and comment to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.